What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Rosewood. Let's play season 10, episode number 8. Right? 8. And uh, I want to start off today talking about uh, a little bit of the future plans for the city. Because we had our first uh, city council meeting. That was uh, that happened just last week, uh, right after I recorded Monday's episode. Uh, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to jump in just for a minute. We got all the cheats turned on. Uh, I want to buy some of these areas and kind of look at the edge of our map and talk about kind of how we're going to expand. Now, one thing, we could buy this tile if we wanted to do shipping. I just like the shape of the 3x3 three three tile better in terms of the build that we're trying to do. And I don't think it makes sense to do, you know, an industry or tourism area over here because we wouldn't be able to buy this little corner of the map. And it, I'm always kind of thinking about how, how we can feather things off. I don't always do it the best. Uh, but I think that the 3x3 three three shape that you're looking at right here is pretty good for this build. It'd be nice if this highway came in a little bit and we could tweak this in this build, but we can't. So we're going to have... Um, let, me, let me break out my district brush and I'll kind of show you what some of the ideas that we talked about. So Greenwood is going to be still kind of all the way down here. This is going to be our, our main green living area. So we've still got plenty of room to expand uh, that quite a bit. This piece here, I built this after the last episode, is just kind of a, a commercial area. So non, uh, non green cities, not local and organic produce, but like a regular commercial sector where we could put, you know, the mall objects and things like that. Pay no attention to this. I'm sure this is totally, totally fine and normal. Good news is, is when I load the actual save up, this will probably still be happening. So we'll get to see that twice today. The other things that we were talking about and I, I should clarify for a minute, the, the City Council is something that we just started. It's open to patrons and channel members. And basically we had a like a good hour long conversation on the Discord, um, loaded up the city, talked about you know some different ideas for infrastructure and expansion. Um, and that's kind of helped me land on some of these ideas that we're talking about right now. Um, let me go large brush for a minute because we're gonna do you know a pocket of waterside. I didn't mean to swing out that far. Uh, didn't mean to do that either. We're gonna do like a pocket of kind of like that where there's no trees. And then maybe we'll have another neighborhood that kind of tucks in back here up to the, well, that shouldn't be too either. You know, something that kind of tucks in over there. Uh, some more, maybe a little bit more residential pocket right here. And then this is all going to be uh, farmland that you see here, all this piece. But one of the interesting ideas that we came up with was to do something a little bit different down here. And maybe we can connect it through here and kind of snake along the outside before linking back up with a road that goes up, you know, that way. Uh, but we're gonna do kind of a, a leisure spot to keep the noise over here by the water. But thought that would be really kind of cool to have kind of like almost a boardwalk area uh, for some of the leisure and stuff like that. Uh, in addition, over here, I think, and, and we didn't, 100% finalize this, but I think this is going to be our university area. We'll tuck in the sports arenas and stuff over here closer to the farms. And then have some sort of transport hub probably over this way so that it's very close to university, maybe even built in into the university campus or right next to it. I don't know. Um, but then there's two other things that we want to do with this build. And I think if we do any office, it would be high rise band. But the other cool spot to do it would be kind of here on this side of the highway. There's that huge height difference behind there. So even taller uh, high rise band buildings wouldn't really impact anything too much if we were to go that way. Um, and then up here, we've got to get at least a little train station in and maybe like a small town feel something up here that links back up. Uh, but that is, that is some of the ideas that we talked about. Let me see what else I might've been missing. Um, Oh, a, a really interesting one. I, I put the trams in here. And I like them a lot. I like the look of the trams. I think they're very cool. But 
one thing they do is because there's a dedicated lane for the tram, uh, it means that there's no parking lane. And if we do trolley buses, it achieves almost the same thing and keeps parking lanes. And parking lanes look just a look a lot busier. One of the things that I want to do is come in here. I, I made these really rigid, gritty uh, footpaths. And they just don't... They're, they're, it's too much. And I think we need to have like the occasional cut through or you know, kind of a curvy diagonal line that goes from, say, here to over here. Uh, but I think I'm going to get rid of that grid, grid based approach because it just makes it seem very mechanical. Um, one other thing I feel like I'm forgetting. We're going to try and do uh, green cities, not green cities, electric car policy over here eventually. Uh, but it is a, kind of an expensive one. Certainly to do citywide is very, very expensive. So, uh, But that's some of the ideas that we talked about on the city council. Again, we're going to do regular meetings um, you know, every few weeks once I've had a chance to build up all these things that we talked about in the last one. But kind of just to help kind of plan out, whiteboard session, have a little bit of a brainstorm. If you want to get involved, there's a couple different ways. Uh, anyone can comment on the Discord in Rosewood Season 10. There's a, a chat room specifically for that. Uh, I do try and keep up with the comments as well. Um, and we'll be looking at those sorts of things, but the most kind of direct impact you can have is for patrons and channel members. So if you'd like to support the channel and get involved in that process, link in the description down below. But with that out of the way, let's get going on some more residential, if you'd believe it. Um, let's do this. We're gonna knock a couple houses out to do this, but I think it kind of makes sense to have A road like that. Do we even connect it, you know, up to here? I don't know. Maybe we do. I don't I don't think the traffic in this residential area is gonna get that bad. But what that does is that lets us move a couple more houses in over here. And it, it does kind of make sense that that would uh, be a road running parallel to uh, the street out here. I uh, can't quite zone on that, so I'm not going to do that one. Gets us a couple houses for the few people that we moved out. Um, and we can still fill in some trees and stuff uh, along this path. But I think we're going to get... Are we? Do we get a new area at the next milestone, which we're almost at? We're, we're pretty close. So we've got to find a spot for a thousand people to move in here. So let's come over here and let's fill this in as best we can given the space that we have, so. Do something like that, out to the edge of the zone. Maybe even get a house or two on a little dead end street there. And we'll just fill in a bunch of these neighborhoods, keeping it pretty loose. Let's bring this up. Well, we could even have that kind of run parallel with the road network that's out there. And we'll leave plenty of buffer. Now these roads will continue on and maybe meet one more kind of cross street that will feed down into, you know, this four lane that will probably carry traffic all the way around the lake. I think we could continue to support that. We, we might downgrade it. We'll see, you know, if it's mostly residential pockets, then probably keep it uh, pretty simple, but we'll see as, as things go. Can we link these? not bad. I can deal with that. And that's just kind of right in between the two zones. So rather than do that, let's do something a little different. Get a couple houses in that way. And maybe we could. We won't be able to zone on the edge of this just yet. 
But that fills in the space pretty good. Let's pause and let's do it the quick way. We'll do the selection tool and we'll just zone way too much. Stuff that we don't need. Uh, that was a lot of stuff we don't need, but I feel like that's going to be faster. Just dezoning all this stuff. I could be wrong, though. I was pretty sloppy with that. But we're not moving anybody in on this uh, main street. We might add some regular commercial businesses at some point. We do have demand for it, but I've got this area planned out down here for commercial pockets. So let's hit play. Let's go three times speed and let's water that because we're going to need that for sure. Well, that's not too bad. Actually, pretty close on where we needed to be there. And we haven't come up this far yet for pipes. Or over, I should say. This is kind of east of our town. I always think of uh, north, south, east, and west as the direction that you initially start looking at the map. So I always think up is north. Just kind of ingrained so north uh south down there on the other side of the water west and east so that's already filling up pretty good let's do a quick look at services info so we're gonna need electricity we're gonna need water probably in today's episode and man fire safety wise not great over here huh Let's put a little fire station in over here. See how that changes things. Not the best. Where's our depot? Our depot's right over there. Um, is a fire going to break out over here like it did before? Probably. So we'll keep an eye on the fire. That that could be an issue. There's not great fire coverage in these neighborhoods. Um, did I change this up? I was thinking of changing up the schools that are here to regular in the old zoning and then moving these over. But I don't know. I don't know if that's necessary. Moving them is certainly cheaper than creating new ones, but uh, we'll definitely go with the Green City stuff in the uh, in the zone. Now this, let's do that, and let's get a high school. Do we get a high school? How's high school? So they're not really getting high school education over here? I don't know if that's because these are the people that moved in most recently or if they're just too far away from the high school. I don't I don't think it's a capacity issue over here. Five hundred three hundred slots for students there. So where would we put them? You know, they're in the gray over here. We're going to have more residents over this way. So, I mean, we could put, you know, a temporary placeholder high school for now. We want people to be well-educated as best we can. Uh, Demand-wise, what do we got? Lots and lots of commercial demand. So, we're going to do regular commercial pocket over here. We'll kind of start by keeping that on the side with the... Um, the uh, tram tram station that's going to be noisier anyways i don't think we'll cram in any residents or anything like that but we might start looking at what uniques we have we don't have a ton of money we could get things like parks or plazas it might be nice to focus on some of the green uh, cities uniques like the climate research station burden v haven and of course i believe was central park you can't even look at it right now. I want to say Central Park was a Green Cities thing. And, of course, the, the recycling, uh, ultimate recycling plant. If we go to Monuments. Uh, I may have mentioned this before. If we go Monuments, I'm definitely going to use probably this big flat area up here to make a very temporary, not even going to make it part of the city at first. 
It's going to be very independent and isolated so that we can get to the nine tiles. Because I think the nine tiles are going to be an important part of kind of rounding out the build. But to do that, we have to get to 90,000 population. And it's definitely more than, than I'm planning on in the ultimate build. Uh, Power-wise, we're doing the geothermal power plants right now. That's going to give us a ton of electricity. Oh, did I have my budget down? I'm. Did I just waste a bunch of money because I forgot? Yeah. Yep. So let's go down to 75 on that and see what that does. Is 75 too little? I guess it is. Um, 85. That gives us way into the green. That's perfect. Perfect for now. I hope I remember that by the, the time uh, I have to drop another power plant in. Why is this power broken now? Did they get disconnected when I did something? They should totally have power, right? This is connect. Oh, this is not connected over here because of the high school? Did I break too much of that? So that'll power over here, which powers over there. All right. Okay, well, we got that. We got that. How's our population? 71 and climbing. The, uh, the object of today is to get to 7,500, which gets us uh, high density that we're not going to use. We will probably use office zone with high, ri uh, high rise ban. Uh, it'll get us leisure specialization and it will get us campus areas. So there's a lot of good stuff and another area. Uh, so yeah, lots and lots of good stuff. Uh, I, we're definitely going to expand to the north first because we need more highway. And right now we've got that one highway exit. We got to fix that. Uh, but we also got to figure out how to get a highway maybe over to this far side. And also, you know, coming through here on the other side of this little downtown area, supporting the industry. And then another one, I actually drew a placeholder road where I kind of want to have one coming into the zone right there. And it's sort of in the center of this kind of triangle shape. It, it, it's, 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 it, there's a Destiny logo that, that looks just like that. Um, to man-wise, doing pretty good. But we need more. We need more people. Uh, let's top off the commercial here. This is a nice little spot if we wanted to build something a little bit bigger. Again, if we go into our uniques, I'm not sure what we've got here. Uh, we could do something like the Statue of Shopping. That could be alright. We could do that. Can we get... Not that we need it, but just for a little bit more consistency in the look. Can we get a pedestrian path to run just outside of it so that that's more kind of pavement on the edges? It actually looks a little a little funny where it doesn't connect. But I think it looks better than, than having the grass, and, and plus it won't let us zone there now. So I think we should do that straight. I don't think we should do a, a tiny little... Uh, select. We don't need a tiny one wide business there. In fact, uh, do we give a buffer to the park or that, that is the buffer? The, pedest the pedestrian path is the buffer. Um, we might also, down here where things get a little rough on the shoreline, look at potentially doing a, uh, a key wall. So, where... That is a uh, that is not a key wall. <laughs> that is a canal. Canyon canal. Potato potato. Uh, if you've been around for a lot of the live streams, you know what I'm talking about. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a silly joke. Uh, so we could do something like this. It helps flatten out that zoning a little bit.
Gives people a little bit more confidence about maybe moving in so close to that shoreline. And we can kind of bring it right up to there. Oh. One click. There we go. So that works, I think. I don't know. Makes a little more sense than having the, the shoreline just come up right behind those houses. At least this is elevated a little bit over here. That was starting to dip down a little too close to the water for uh, for my comfort. So, what do we get at 7500? Well, we've got a new area. we got campuses. Inner city bus. Leisure. So, so much stuff that, that you know, we're kind of planning for the future of our city. I think what I want to do for right now is... And we could probably do uh, a key wall here as well. I'm gonna break this last segment. I don't. That comes out a little bit too far. So we could do something like that to kind of act as like this boardwalk entertainment strip. You can get to it from here. You can get to it from, say, you know, over here. And then if we have more population kind of living around the lake, we'll be able to, to feed lots of different stuff in there. But I kind of wanted to get just a framework for that road. I don't want to connect them through residential. We could have a street, maybe, that connects through residential. Where's that central street right here? Something like that. And because this has Old Town on it, people aren't going to be coming up through there. This might be close enough where people will walk down here. But we can also look at uh, maybe a two-lane tram street or trolley bus street, either way. Like I said, we may convert that over because it just looks busier with uh, the parked cars there. You know, it's I like the look of the trams, but I like the look of the parked cars too. And uh, that's not possible on... Uh, on a tram road and vanilla city skylines at least right because this doesn't have a parking lane either and it does really make a big difference to make the city feel more alive one of the other things actually that came up in the uh, the council meeting was bike paths and we might look at you know kind of running them parallel we've got this space back here encouraging people to take bikes down into the city convert you know the occasional road you know maybe like this one coming into the neighborhood could be bike paths that feeds more of that traffic and then have the parking still available in the regular streets well at least where we don't have tree line streets creating a separate uh, road type to define crosswalks I, I did that uh, a little while ago so I do want to start thinking about moving some of this stuff out. This is going to be our campus area. Maybe the transport hub over here or maybe transport hub and shove the uh, the campus area over just a little bit. But we do have to start thinking about moving, again, moving this stuff out. Uh, recycling plant causes a little bit of pollution and then these obviously cause a lot of pollution. These are draining the, uh, the sewage into the ground. Um, and then all of these buildings the uh, industrial buildings pollute an awful lot as well. So, how do we do this? Well, I think it would be good to kind of keep this structure right here, but we can delete this middle road. And that's going to cause all of these buildings to move out, which is fine. I just want to get started on this project just a little bit because we have to wait for things to level up, so... We get something put in place today. We're gonna leave that building for now. And we'll see if we can keep it busy. Um did 
Did I do that? Did I rename it? Or was the game... Because the game does have an Ice Cube Factory as a possibility. I am not 100% on that. Maybe I did that, maybe I didn't. I, I must have. That's just... That can't be coincidence that the one building I wanted to keep had already been named that. I had to have done that already. Um... If I did, and you saw it already in the series, let me know. Okay, so this is going to get disconnected from power because power was running to it. Is there seriously not enough power on the edge of our grid already? For Come on. Oh, because my main power plants are up here and it's not passing power down there. Okay. Never mind. Okay, we'll do that. We can get rid of these power lines. That just gives us a little bit more space to work inside of this zone. I don't think I'm going to build anything uh, on that side. Let's hit play. Let's make sure everybody's happy. Or, uh, if not happy, at least not complaining about power. I probably didn't need to come out that far because I, I don't know that we're going to zone anything off this way, but just in case we've got that next uh, set of framework all set up. Let's do one more water pump while we're in here looking at it and seeing that it is uh, going to be a problem very shortly. And then can we get one more sewage treatment up here? We're going to move this soon, but I don't know that we'll decide on a, a final location until we... Uh, Eco Inland Water Treatment Plant. Eco Advanced. Still pollutes. So we're going to be going with the uh, the Eco Water Treatment Plant when we can. That, that is a, a Green City's building. How much do these pollute? Pollution zero. Pollution is reduced, but not wholly gone. How do you figure zero pollution if you're dumping out sewage that isn't perfectly clean? Um, I guess it's a different mechanic, right? It's not polluting the building and the ground it's on. It's wherever the water goes to. But let's do this. One more eco-inland water treatment plant. Uh, I think were we having to double these up to keep in line with the the water? I feel like we were. We're in the green. We can wait it out a bit. We've got the ice cube factory. We've got our recycling plant here. Just move that down. So we got a little bit to work with. And ignore the pollution. The pollution will eventually go away. This is a one-way street. That's a one-way street. So. How do we want to do this? Maybe I do need to delete that ice cube factory and, and just stamp a, uh, a single industrial pocket somewhere. Let's let's double check the size of this. I do like this building. It's a four by four. Okay. We're going to move that out too. We will. The ice cube factory will return. Don't worry. This is not the spot for it though. So we come in and go one of two ways. One kind of bypasses maybe the campus route. The other one heads more in. Or this will be more about the campus over here. This will be more about the sports and the city services, I guess. So I don't want to get too rigid and grid-like. I think we could do a, a rigid grid on the interior buildings. Um, but it might make sense to kind of have some of this stuff flow through a little bit. We'll get this connected now that we've got industry out of there so that people can get in and out. And in, in theory, if they come down here, they can turn any which way because they can turn, they can go straight to turn right. They can go left if they need to get to, you know, the other side uh, of this street. 
So that actually gives them a lot of options for city service vehicles and dump trucks, but you know, since we don't have industry here, it doesn't matter as much. So let's go campuses. Let's take a look at types. Better yet, let's paint an area first. And for right now, we'll just do a healthy, a healthy size blob for our campus area. It's gonna be it's gonna go over here more. I guess we could define that accordingly now. Just gonna make things easier. We don't have to break out the brush every time we want to add a new block of buildings. Uh, so keep in mind, this is all this is all going to be gone. If I move, well, water is going to be in the water, and uh, we'll be able to move some of the other stuff around. So uh, as far as campus types, we have the trade school. As far as campus types, the only thing that we get unlocked at first is the trade school. Um, we may jump this around. You know, do we put the administration building? What do we have for space? We can come in four, five, six blocks with a road. So technically five blocks since it's going to eat up on either side. We'll do the one-way tree line because why not? So I think if I do that... So we can change the direction on that to have a little bit of one-way traffic flow. We'll go back over here, and this should fit perfectly on this block now. That works. And then we got to think dorms. we got to think uh, study halls and some of the other decorative buildings for around here. We have $177,000 right now. Uh, we can eat it up pretty quick doing all this. We'll try and you know cram in some of the really small buildings. Can we? Oh, we can. That's pretty cool. So which one is this? This is the groundskeeping. You know, do we put that on this this main block? I think that's okay. Just use that space. Uh, the area in behind here. Let's get some footpaths out. Maybe we can connect that all the way through down to there. And let's see what we can do for dormitories on this. Can we do two side by side? Oh, definitely. With even a little bit of space in the middle. So we'll leave this right here for more dorms. We'll have a little bit of dorms in behind the uh, behind the administration building. Now, some of the larger buildings we can put on roads, but any of them beyond, I think, the initial building can be put on paths. They don't actually have to have road access. So we added what? We added some paths. We did the main building, which you can only have one of per campus type. We have a couple dormitories, study hall, groundskeeping. Can we get the book club over here? That's That would be too good, right? Kind of bury the book club back there. Still have room for more dorms behind that. And, and I think that's all we have unlocked right now. But that should... Oh. They give you one of the schools to start. We do have money for it. So let, let's take a look at these. So there's three different uh, university types. And you unlock them as you go. So you, you start with the one that we're working on right now. The trade school. Each one of the universities has three unique... Uh, institutions. Uh, in this case, we've got the police academy, there is the school of tourism and travel, and the school of engineering. And they each have different impacts in your city. So for police academy, uh, during studies, cadets work with police officers, uh, increasing patrol car count, jail capacity, and police department efficiency. Uh, increases campus attractiveness, requires a trade school area. So you might think about what type of university to put in based on the benefits and, and what you're looking to improve in your city. Uh, this one, the School of Tourism and Travel, increases attractiveness and entertainment of leisure buildings. Income from all commercial zones is increased. 
so that's pretty cool, especially since we're going to have a, a little boardwalk area. Um, and then for reaching the top tier um, reputation, you have uh, the School of Engineering. Increasing all generic zoned industry income while reducing citywide water consumption and sewage outlet. So we won't really be benefiting from that generic zone income, but but all the other stuff helps. So these schools are really big though. So we've got to decide kind of what we want to do to kind of cram these in. I think, can we get it? How, how far over does that go? Looks like 10 blocks maybe. So if we bring this road down, we should be good, I think. Let's see. Let's see if that'll fit. Ah! Man, it's a gigantic building. We're going to come down two more units. I think that was three. Let's try that. Oh, I can't do that cross street. So do we do that or I'm already thinking of moving stuff around, which gets expensive. We could do the study hall. We could do the study hall there. I think it makes more sense to face it out that way. And we still have room for another dorm building over this way. While they're complaining about the water, and before I forget, let's get that connected. And let's get that school in, and we'll call it a day. I think that's some pretty good progress we made for our city. But I think this one's going to be a lot better looking in the grand scheme of things. Kind of over here. Come, come on. Close enough. So that is very cool. We'll, we'll, we got to get the pollution out of here. That's one of the that's one of the next steps. Where to put that right now? I don't know. It would be nice if we could kind of stick it up there. We will stick it on whatever tile we buy next. Let's take a look at that. So we've got three tiles. This one doesn't get us a lot right now um, because we're not going to be using that space anytime soon. All the bottom ones are nice. But I think we've got to start thinking about a second highway exit. And we could do one over here, no problem, without needing another tile. To get an exit over here, I think we need this tile. But this is going to be so, so underutilized. I don't think I'm going to waste that just yet. So I think we'll continue our build. Let's continue our build around the lake in Greenwood and really get that set up. And now we have all this space to work with so we can actually finish uh, the Greenwood. Uh, and then focus on starting to move people around the lake. We will buy that one next. But then at that point, we got to think about buying this tile up here because this is where I'm going to stick all the uh, the high density temporary residential to to get our system our system our city up to uh, that ninety thousand mark and uh, and unlock the tiles at least. If we don't do monuments, that's one thing. I still want nine tiles though. Uh, maybe we cheat it at the end. You know, maybe we start loading it up with. Things like unlimited money and ore and oil and soil and, um, and and unlock all. You know, maybe we don't care about it. I don't know. But I've always enjoyed playing the game for the game, the challenge, uh, growing the city. It's 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 half of the appeal for me. It's, it's not just the build, but, you know, the challenge of taking uh, that limited money, making a city, making people happy, making them want to move in, uh, and making it efficient and effective. Um, and we'll see if we can do that. We'll, I mean, we are doing that, but we'll see if we can continue to do that as long as we can without having to cheat. Um, I think there's ways we can work around it. So, in fact, I know there is. I've, I've done it before in Snowfall on uh, Winterfell Season 5. Built a, a bunch of bunch of big blocks of high-density residential and knocked it all back down. Um, I think I knocked it all back down. <laughs> Never finished cities. I'm going to finish this one, I swear. If you're enjoying the build, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more, considering the bell to get updates in this and other series. Join the Discord if you got questions. Awesome group of people over there. Uh, and regardless of what platform you're playing on, I'm sure someone can help you out. 
but we've got tons and tons to do. Check back in on Friday for the next episode of the Let's Play. New episodes Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.